Guys, welcome. I hope that your Saturday is great and uh, that you spend it exactly how you want it. Uh, so today in this video, we're going to look at a past video. Not a video that was put on YouTube, but it was a video from my Patreon channel. Why so? Because when I had talked about this, well, first of all, the company, in my opinion, my personal opinion, is amazing. It's a stunning company and they have something very special that actually makes them unique in the entire, entire United States. They're the only ones who offer this, which is actually in super, super demand or will become in the most extreme ways you can think of, let's say, in demand. And uh, it's going to make it one of the greatest long-term investments. In my personal opinion, of course, this isn't professional financial advice. No professional financial advice is on YouTube for free. Think about that. So uh, it's not professional financial advice. It is my opinion. I do think it's a stunning, super amazing long term. I want to share this with you. I talked about it on my Patreon in the past. It was 41 bucks when we talked about it. We went all the way, well the way up to 51. Uh, but now it has fallen due to the market conditions the past few days. Everything has fallen. And that makes a great, I guess, a great night. I wouldn't say a great opportunity because I don't want to influence anyone. But I'm, I'm, uh, I guess it makes a great opportunity for consideration or for due diligence, let's say. Right. You might want to learn about this company. Check it out. Like I say, it was on my Patreon channel. If you want to join my Patreon channel, link will be in the comment section below. My Patreon channel is about, uh, it's actually about everything. It's called Bull Market Watch. It's for day trades. Uh, short-term trades, long-term trades, everything, right? So um, you can join if you want. The link will be in the comment section below. And with that being said, let's get started with the video. Hey, everyone, a patron and my YouTube members. Thank you very much, all of you who have joined. I really appreciate it. So today we are going to look at a long-term multi-bagger. So for the past 10 days, two weeks, we have had back-to-back -back successful, beautiful opportunities for day trades. I would post them on my Patreon. I'm getting in on this at the price of this and get out and everything. I, you know, I would post the price I get in and then I posted the price I would get out, right? And everything worked perfectly fine. When we do short-term trades and day trades, they're fun, they're cool. And if they work out, they're amazing. You feel good, but they are just that day trades. They're short-term trades and they're short-term wealth builders that really aren't going to get you anywhere if you don't take advantage of the profits you make. Because 95% of day traders or those who attempt to day trade end up years down the road, got nowhere. They're still poor, let's say, in the sense of investing. They have done nothing because when you do short-term trades or day trades and you, and you actually, and it, and it works for you and make profits, most of the times these people take that money and they spend it in their private life. Uh, or I don't know what to do with it, but they really don't invest it in the long term. They just go again on another day trade, right? That's never going to get you wealth building. When you when we talk about building wealth, what you do is you take a certain amount of money, you put it in a really good stock, and guess what? You leave it for long term. What what happens when you leave it for long term and you put it in a really good stock? Well, you can't touch it. You can't spend it, right? You put it for long term. You left it there for years. You can't touch it. You can't spend it. So you're not going to destroy that investment yourself. It's just going to sit there and it's going to build and build and build on its own through the years. And then when two, three, four, five, six, seven years go by, you got a lot of money, right? They built on their own and you didn't touch them to end up doing something to screw up, right? 95% of people will never build wealth by day trading. I guarantee you. Forget what they say on Twitter. Forget what you see on vlogs. I'm living the life. I'm in Dubai and all that stuff. It's a bunch of stupid stuff. That's either to get money from you or just to pump their uh, profile themselves because psychologically that makes them feel better. All right. So with that being said, we are going to talk about centrist. Focus on this stock because this is really good stock. Of course, you want you know you should do your own homework. The future of nuclear po power. The future of nuclear power is very big because it's the only way for countries to achieve decarbonization. There's no other way to do it. You can't do it just on green energy. Can the United States, the United States of America, can it run purely on solar panels? No, it can't not. It's the, the nation, think about the United States as one big factory. It cannot be powered purely by solar panels, nor by wind power, nor by all that green energy stuff they say. It's beautiful, it sounds good, it's profit making, but you can't run a nation on green power. You have to do it, green power I mean by solar panels and wind powers and all that stuff. They, they can complement, but nuclear power has to kick in. Nuclear power plants are the only way to power an entire nation. That means all the vehicles, gasoline stations, the factories, the lighting, everything. You need nuclear power. And the, according to the International Atomic Agency, if you go to their website, nuclear power plants are rising and plans to build more is rising. 
to show the future of nuclear power. I'm not saying nuclear power is great, but unfortunately, that's the way it goes. So it's, here it says, we profile five upcoming nuclear power uh, projects from around the world as nations increasingly turn to the technology to meet decarbonization targets. Guess what? Who picked up on nuclear power? Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. They're together teaming up to build a $4 billion nuclear power plant backed by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, which is set to be, which is set for construction in Wyoming. But I did a video last year about that. I did a video last year where I talked about in my video, and I have that video on YouTube. Um, I'll try to remember to put links in the bottom or remind me, and I'll give you all the links. I did four videos on nuclear power plants. Who's, in, who's investing in nuclear power plants, what nuclear power plants there, uh, stocks there are, uh, what is small module nuclear reactors and who is working on that. I did, I did four videos on that last year. So um, yeah, last year I did a video and I did mention in that video that Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have created their own company and they're, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a company that's going to be building small nuclear modular reactors, which modular reactors are the new technology. Uh, which is everyone's working on. Rolls Royce is uh, got uh, the permits and approvals, uh, and the only country, uh, the only company in the UK to build for the UK small uh, nuclear modular reactors. So the nations are moving like that. That's the direction the West is taking: small nuclear modular reactors. Now, in all these things, and uh, all these things, even in, in not just the small nuclear modular reactors, but also the U.S. government, they all need something to start and kickstart these things in order for them to work. What is that? Uranium. And when we come to uranium, there's a lot of uranium stocks to talk about. All sound promising, all sound great. At the end of the day, there's only one that has a permit for a specific type of uranium. Uranium people think and say, okay, uranium stocks, buy this. No, you wanna look for something that only one stock, only one company in the entire United States, and it's the only one that's providing the US government with this because the small modular nuclear reactors also will be needing this particular. So the company we're gonna talk about is Centris Energy Corp. It supplies nuclear fuel and services for the nuclear power industry in the United States, Japan, to Belgium, and internationally. The company operates through two segments, low enriched uranium and technical solutions. So the LEU segment sells separative work units, components of LEU, SW, SWU, I'm sorry, and natural uranium components of LEU and natural uranium of, uh, for utilities that operate nuclear power plants. The technical solutions segment offers technical manufacturing, engineering, procurement, construction, and operations services to public and private sector uh, customers. The company was formed, uh, was formerly known as USEC Incorporation and changed its name to Centris Energy Corp in 2014. And let's just get real quick to the latest earnings. Centris Energy Corp beat the earnings and revenue estimates in their latest earnings report. Uh, so they came out with a quarterly earnings of $2.51 per share, beating the Zach's consensus estimate of $0.80 cents per share. This compares to earnings of $0.79 cents per share a year ago, which is pretty cool. And these figures are adjusted for non-recurring items. Um, this quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 213% positive. A quarter ago, it was expected that this company would post earnings of $0.81 cents per share when it actually posted a loss of $0.03, cents, delivering a negative 103. But you should already know about Centris Energy Corp because I talked about this company on my Patreon channel, right? I talked, and the YouTube members. I mentioned it about a day or two days ago. I told you guys that I'm buying at $41. The thing was $41 and I don't know what it was, 30 cents, whatever. 41 bucks, 41.20, I don't remember. And I said at 41 something, guys, I am buying today Centris Energy Corp. Right now, as I'm doing the video, it has gone to 42.55. So it was about one or two days ago that I did post it on the Patreon and on the YouTube members and I told you guys at 41 I'm buying and that I would come out with a video later on. So here's the video and here's the stock. It's up now at 42.55. So it is incorporated in Delaware. Centris Energy Corp is trusted supplier of nuclear fuel and services for the nuclear power industry. LEU's management disclosed that it is one of the most diversified companies in the world in terms of uranium distribution. Uh, new reactors will require higher, and that this, is the, this is the most important part, that, that makes this a powerful, multi-bagger, solid, super amazing, long-term buy stock, right? Because the new power, nuclear power reactors that I told you in the beginning of the video, the small modular nuclear reactors, which is what Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, everybody, UK, everybody in England, everybody's building, this is the new technology. Well, these new reactors will require high assay, if I pronounce it right, high assay, low enriched uranium, or it's called H-A-L-E-U, H-A-L-E-U. They require that or else they can't work 
but it's the new technology and that's what everyone's building. Even the United States is building small module nuclear reactors. So they need HALEU, right? Uh, management believes that the new demand could represent significant sales for the company. And guess what? Centris Energy is the first and the only, the first and the only licensed producer of HLEU for the government of the United States. They are the first and licensed producer of HLEU. This is the future. This company is going to create wealth. When you invest in this company, don't expect that it will go to the moon next month. And don't forget, they're not just for the US government or the United States, right? This company is an international supplier for the nu for nuclear fuel to other countries, right? Of course, they're not going to supply North Korea with nuclear fuel, <laughs> but they are, are pro they are providing to Belgium, which has nuclear power plants, to France. According to the International Atomic Agency, the global annual nuclear power capacity needs to reach 27 gigawatts by 2030, right? 27. We're not there yet. Uh, so, and the total capacity needs to double, right, by 2030. So, I mean, just do the math, think about it, where this company is going. Centris Energy is improving its income statement and uh, sports a healthy balance sheet. Why wouldn't they when there's more and more demand for their product every year and there will be even more? And the company is uniquely poised to leverage the nuclear power market through its HLEU project and secure a firm footing in the advanced nuclear reactor market for the long term. If we look at the revenue in, 2000, in the second quarter last year was $244 million. In 2022, $340 million, 128% positive increase. And you can see here the gross margin went from 25 to 48%, which is awesome. And the, and the same with a revenue per share of 21.14 went to 22.5. All right, with that being said, though, I, want to do, I do want to say one thing, and that is the risk. Because the company, because nuclear modular reactors don't exist yet they're still being uh, one is being built in wyoming by uh, bill gates and uh, warren buffett but they're still in the early phases of being built all over the place right this company yes is doing well yes it's fine yes it's an amazing long term but you'll have to uh deal with some type of volatility in the stock price right not for the long term not forever but in the short term i think so that's that if you can stomach that right um if you can if you do your homework let's say in which you should and you believe that this company is going to be amazing five years down the road right i've invested in companies and then five years down the road they have been like let's say uh let me give the example the ultimate, one of the best examples was sprout social i invested it in 16 dollars, and then two years later it was 75 dollars, right um but sprout social was a tech stock but okay maybe that's not a great example but anyways uh if you believe if you do your homework you believe that this company is going to be amazing in the long term then you shouldn't care about the short-term volatility even sprout social when i invested at 16 bucks had a short-term volatility for the first year in sauna where it wasn't really going anywhere it went down to 12 i think or nine if i remember and people were you know saying oh this thing sucks and i was like, where is this, where is this investment going to go? But it went from 16 to 75, right? So that's that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the best and take care, everyone.